If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Links in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my FIFA 16 ratings prediction series. We're going to be doing Manchester United, five players in this episode, and I am going to be doing card stats since a lot of people did ask me why am I not doing them. It does cause a lot of arguments, but so does the ratings, I suppose, so we'll, do, we'll put them in. And the first player we've got is David De Gea. Now, I've made two cards, one of which... I want to happen one of which I don't obviously I don't want the Real Madrid transfer to happen and I don't think it will until next season but aside from that I've put both cards there hopefully he stays at least for a year anyway 37 appearances 37 starts 19 clean sheets and 3,314 minutes played he was vital for Manchester United he already had a two upgrade he started out as an 83 on FIFA 15 and he deserves another two upgrade honestly he's the reason we're in Champions League almost single-handedly I've uh, upped his diving and his reflexes I've also upped his handling by three because that has greatly improved this season kicking up by one uh, positioning up by two and speed up by one so yeah I think he does merit that 87 rating the next player we've got Ander Herrera again a player who did very well for us 26 games played 17 starts 8 goals 4 assists in 1869 minutes that's not a lot of minutes obviously we got knocked out of the league cup very early on the FA Cup we got to the quarters and we had no UCL so we've only really got Premier League games to go off but yeah he did very very well and it was underrated for most of the season Louis van Gaal didn't pick him for a while and when he did he started being the integral figure outfield for us like David De Gea was the goalkeeper who was keeping us in and Ander Herrera was digging us out the shit in midfield and yeah I do think he deserves a 2 upgrade to an 81 midfielder and I've upped his shooting by 8 because every single shot he had on target went in. He did have shots off target but his shooting it's not anywhere near 62 I reckon it should be a 70 but the other stats have went up slightly so uh, let me know what you think of that but I think he merits an 81 rating. The next player we've got Juan Mata. Now this one, like Di Maria is coming up later on, I couldn't really figure out what position to give him because he's played as calm, he's played as right wing and towards the end of the season he played a lot more in right wing in our best streaks so I'm going to give him a right wing card for FIFA 16, an upgrade as well. 33 games, 27 starts, 10 goals, 4 assists in 2,309 minutes. Very good. Obviously, his best performance was Liverpool at Anfield. And uh, yeah, I definitely think he were uh, more. I can't even speak. Warrants a 1 upgrade to an 86, back to what he was in FIFA 14. And I've upped his stats minimalistic, um, kind of. It, it's The thing is with stats, they're only going to go up by 1 or 2 unless something drastic changes. Like, for instance, the Ander Herrera stat for the shooting. So, a, another reason why they're kind of pointless. But, you know, people did want to see them. So, yeah, there you go. I suppose they're the stats I've given him. The next player we've got, Wayne Rooney. And this one, again, is very difficult. 37 games, 37 starts, 14 goals, 5 assists, 2,877 minutes played. Not Rooney's best season by a long shot, but he was played all over the park. CDM, centre mid, calm, uh, centre forward and striker. For that reason, I'm going to put him as a centre forward. I, again, positioning, because Louis van Gaal likes to play players all over the park, it's very hard to do. Uh, in this game but I think he warrants to keep the same rating not an upgrade not a downgrade I think it's fair to keep Rooney at 86 and I think he'll do well this season again just minor changes in the stats you can uh, look at them for yourself and the final game well, game final player we've got Angel Di Maria the hardest one to do all right I don't think he more uh, where it's warrants a downgrade to be honest because of the minutes he's played and the assists and goals he's got but because of the price tag you know I've given him a one downgrade now what annoys me most is last year he deserved a two upgrade for Real Madrid to be an 88 and then this FIFA would have meant he would have went down to an 87 which would have been fine but they kept him as 86 and now he's probably going to go down to an 85 again position I couldn't work it out left wing is what I've put him at because that's what he's played a lot for Argentina he's played all over for us so I don't know right wing centre mid centre attacking mid left wing it's just hard to pinpoint but 24 games 16 starts 4 goals 10 assists in 1645 minutes not bad by any stretch of the imagination but I imagine 
EA will probably give him a downgrade, so I'm going to give him an 85 rated left wing. I really hope they keep him as an 86, but we'll see what happens. Again, I've changed his stats very slightly. I have upped his passing though, because he did get 10 assists, which is the third highest in the BPL. So I think his passing deserves to go up. All the other stats have either kept the same or have went down. So let me know what you think. Um, do you think I've been fair with these ratings? Do you think they should be higher, lower, etc.? Let me know in the comments as always. Thanks for the support and yeah, peace.